What is happening, Magnus Sites? Well, it is a sad day for many migrants. Ah, oh, man. I don't say that to be funny or nothing. Let's take a look at this, and I will give you my commentary, because I'm already thinking something. Man, oh man. News, the mayor just announced that the city will no longer issue vouchers to migrants to pay for food, ending a controversial program that had repeatedly come under attack by conservatives and others. This pilot mm. program in New York City drenched in both humanity and... Yo, some, yo, so much stuff is getting done, like, immediately as soon as Trump won. Like, people are moving in motion. Controversy distributed debit cards to migrant families staying in city funded hotels and allowing them to buy their own food. I was news reporter Josh Einier following mm -hmm. the breaking news for us. Josh, ability. And I'd heard that they would give them those debit cards to buy food because they didn't they didn't like the food that they were giving them or something. My mom used to tell me something when I was a kid when she would cook something and I didn't want it. She would say, "Well, beggars can't be choosy. Eat it." <laughs> That's what she used to say. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Program that, as you say, generated plenty of controversy, but now its absence may raise even more questions. The so-called Immediate Response Cards pilot program was designed to help feed migrant families who'd found themselves in New York with no way to afford food. The one-year contract provided what the city described as culturally relevant food to 2,600 migrant families, allowing them to Don't basically be waving. buy what they <laughs> wanted. Family of four with under two kids under with two kids under five got about three hundred and fifty dollars per week to cover food in a program the city said would actually save taxpayers millions a year. It also reduced food waste. You may remember the food the city had been providing in migrant shelters was seen as not culturally mm -hmm. sensitive to the needs of some migrant groups, and it ended up just going to waste. More than yeah, they didn't like the food they were giving. I don't know if they was giving them bologna and cheese sandwiches or what. I don't know if they were giving them, but. Um, all this over votes, all this done to get votes. <laughs> the year the city was groaning under the weight of more than 200,000 asylum seekers. Officials say the migrant population has actually reduced lately. In fact, a massive shelter on Roosevelt Island is in the process of closing. In the meantime, Mayor Adams spoke on the phone yesterday with President-elect Donald Trump, who had vowed during his campaign to mass deport mm -hmm. migrants. Mm -hmm. Aside from congratulating him on his win, though, Adams today would not say what they discussed. Uh, I wish that they, when they say that, when they talk about mass deporting migrants, I wish that they would say mass deporting illegal migrants. Like, that's, you know what I mean? Um, I gotta say that I do feel bad for some of them, for for. I'll, I'll tell you this. I feel bad for all of them that were sold a dream by the government to come here. By the Biden-Harris administration to be bust here. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, don't worry. You know, I don't know what they were saying to him. But I get the feeling it was kind of like, no worries. We, we know you're not legal yet, but we're going to bring you in. We're going to set you up. We're going to take care of you. And we're going to make you legal. We're going we're gonna to shorten the process for you. We're going to take care of it. And I feel bad for those people that truly are seeking a better life here in America. And they fell for the okie doke to get them over here. Like, for some reason, I just don't think that the majority of them was like, yeah, they bringing us in illegal. But I mean, they said they're going to take care of us. So and like, I feel like they were like sold a dream. That's the feeling I get. I don't know if it's true, but that's the feeling I get. And if that is the case, they were sold a dream. They were told something was going to happen and it ain't happening. And they didn't know what y'all really ate and like to eat, <laughs> which is the least of their problems. You know what I'm saying? Like if I go somewhere, you know, and they're like, look, this is, you know, I'm eating what they give me. I'm really not, you know, but whatever. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this situation. And if you enjoyed my thoughts and commentary, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo!